Rather smaller than the ANC's rally, but not so very long ago, few here would have dared sport the colors of the Democratic Alliance. This is Soweto, a suburb south of Johannesburg that played a legendary role in the liberation struggle. This venue is named after one of the ANC's best-loved icons, Walter Sisulu. Yet today, it's a platform for the leader of the DA, Helen Zilla. And in South Africa's fifth democratic election, the DA does seem to be winning supporters here, particularly among the young. I believe that DA is going to bring a lot of changes here in, in South Africa. And I believe Soweto will also, like it's a, it's, a, it's a city which is like originally has been mostly developed by the ANC. But now people, they want change. Well, for this election, we believe that uh, a lot has happened in our country uh, regarding uh, corruption from the ANC, the ruling party. So we believe in this election, they will bring change based on that. It's helped me by teaching other people that they can get something out of DA instead of a party that's just using their cash and not doing anything about it. You can imagine how many millions of South Africans were complaining without being heard. Push for specific examples of what the DA has done for Soweto, no one we spoke to could offer anything beyond the promise of a change from the ruling party. For many, though, that seems enough. According to one opinion poll, the DA could take more than one in five votes on Wednesday, up from one in six in 2009's election. That's still way behind the ANC and way below the DA's prediction of 30%. But the DA has shown small can make a big impact and is convinced more people are getting that message. Famida Mala, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.